But um, put up your hand if you've got a science background. Oh, terrific. Look, I'm, I'm going to let everybody in on this. Actually, if I talk about H2O, I'm talking about water. Okay. Right. Um, now, I'm going to show you a slide, and, and I'll actually read through a little bit of it. But I always tell people about water as being H2O. Okay? Um, the, and if you want it to be really formal, you could say it was dihydrogen monoxide. So di for two. Um, okay, I'll just read this. Um, Ken has been a science teacher for 25 years. He has easy access to chemicals. For the past <laughs> nine years, he has been adding dihydrogen monoxide to his morning coffee. Ken is now addicted. Without DHMO, he will die in three days. <laughs> he continues to teach. And the reason I tell people now about dihydrogen monoxide and water is because in the past, when I've done this and people don't know about dihydrogen monoxide, half of the room will think, oh, this poor man, you know, he's going to die if he doesn't have this drug. And the other half, they're sitting on the end of their seat going, this is disgusting. Why is he in front of students? Um, but it's amazing. You know, if, unless people know about science, it's very easy to get confused. 